Welcome to Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. And uh, as you can see, we're not in the booth today. Yeah, we right. are. We're in the wild. Uh, we're in the wild and some wild things going on because uh, I don't know if you can hear behind us, there's some chainsaws going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we've mentioned on the show previously that the around town here, uh, there's a bunch of chainsaw carvings and we're going to tell you about where they come from, show you where they come from. Yeah at the uh, Chetlin uh, International Chainsaw Carving Festival that we're at right now. And yeah, we have, what, 12 carvers? I, bl I believe they bring in 12 carvers every year from around the world. Uh, there's like one guy from Japan, there's a guy yeah, from Australia. Yeah. yeah. And they come in, they uh, start off with a massive log that they pick out, and they work over three days to uh, make some awesome carvings. Yeah, to create what we're gonna show you. Yeah, so this is day three. Um, I think we have some footage of like the first Oh yeah, like first and second yeah, we'll, day, or some pictures. A little bit. So we'll show you how things kind of start off, but uh, yeah, we're into the final stretch now for the carvers. So you'll definitely see what they've been made. Like at this point, you should be able to tell what the final project is yeah. probably going to be. Yeah, because I've been down here all weekend, and some of them are looking pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, like I said, we'll take a walk around, show you, but you'll definitely be impressed by what these folks can do with like, a chainsaw and a hunk of wood. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. A little torch. And actually, uh, we got a, and there's a quick carb coming up. Yeah, there's a quick carb coming up. Uh, they're running until 1 p.m. today. And uh, after that, they do some judging and stuff. Yep. Uh, and they also do like a little auction where the carvers uh, quickly chop up a piece of wood that gets auctioned off for charity. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And uh, another thing, too, is that this is the first time in a couple of years that this event's going on because... Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah. That's for sure. COVID shut everything down for a couple of years. Uh, you know, obviously, this is an international event, and they weren't able to bring in people from, like, across any borders for the past couple of yeah. years. So yeah, no this is the first year that they've been able to do that. So exciting to see what comes up, and uh, hopefully we'll be chatting with some of the carvers. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Because we, well. got, we got carvers from what, Australia, yeah. uh, Wales, yeah, this guy from Japan. Wales. Yeah. Like uh, a few people from the States. Yeah, got some local. And uh, some Canadian carvers yeah, as well. Some, some BC boys. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll take you around, and uh, you'll be able to see all the sites. Yeah. That's okay. about it. Yep. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Kind of uh, behind the scenes. Yeah, we got a, a dragon going on. Yeah. We got a Viking. Viking over here. Okay, Working on some final detail there. Surfer? I, I think they're using the smaller, more detailed size chain size right now. That's why it's a little bit quieter. Because they have different sizes. Some dancers. Definitely a well placed knot. What? Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See if I can uh, zoom in. Uh, not very much. Okay. But you, you, know, you know what he's talking about. Yeah. They got this. Another drink. Yeah. Details with all the scales and everything. I think this is going to win it. Yeah. Not, that's my prediction, but I'm digging. Over here. Yeah, the Beatles. Digging the Beatles. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Got some horses. Yeah. I don't know if our commentary is very 
It's it's more about the carvings yeah. than us right now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Where's the tail? The tail? Uh, two, three, three times later? A bunch of it. He's got a, like a orangutan, a lemur. So, uh, we'll probably be uh, checking in on the tail later. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm gonna finish. He's doing. Yeah. <laughs> Will it be people's choice or? This is the first second here. Or Carver's choice? Yeah. And this thing, this thing actually. Yeah, they got it hollowed out. It's it on. Yeah. Uh, how it looked yesterday. And I'll throw a clip, throw a, throw a clip of that. Yeah. It's like a world carriage. Oh, yeah. yeah, very dynamic looking. Yeah. yeah. We're kind of doing a run and gun thing, this, this, this yeah. go around. It's an experimental edition. Yeah, we're going to see how it goes. Yeah. Hopefully but we can... Uh... Carving things out of wood is media. Yeah. Wood is a medium. That's true. Yeah. That's a good point. And we're giving it more than a minute, so... Yeah. We're still on brand. And we haven't talked about food yet. No, there are a bunch of food trucks. Uh, there's a Ukrainian one. There's a Newfoundland food truck. There's a mini donut food truck. So, uh, Let's go check those out. Yeah. I don't think they're open yet, but uh, the mini yeah, donut place early. is open. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have donuts for breakfast. Yeah, right? don't, don't know either. breakfast champions. I don't know. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah. We're uh, back at the chainsaw carving competition. There's about a half hour left of the main carving uh, before they start the judging. One of the things that they do later in the afternoon is called the quick carve, where they take these logs and get all the carvers and they do a quick carve. And uh, those carvings are auctioned off for a charity at the end of the day. So that's coming up for you in a few hours. We'll check back in for that. But uh, yeah, here's some of the logs that they're gonna be working with. And 
welcome back. It's been a couple of weeks since the Chetwin Chainsaw Carving Championship. Yep. And we are now in a mystery. This has turned into a mystery story. Point to Quagmire. Yes. Two turtles, two beloved carvings of turtles. Two lovely turtles loving each other. Yes, have gone missing. They yeah. used to be on display. They used to be right behind us. Yep. Right in the fitness park here. Actually, let's get, take a closer look. Let's see if we can find some clues. Yeah, yeah we've been hyping up these turtles. Yeah, we've been talking time. about them. You know, if you ever made a trip here, maybe you wanted to see the turtles, but we don't know where they are. Yeah, see, this is where they uh, used to reside. Yep. No turtles? I don't see any turtles. I don't see any turtles. We, we got a great yeah, we carving of a we, we should probably give ant. the ants some, some love. Yeah. There's a tiger over yeah, there. there. Yeah. He's pretty cool. He is actually pretty sweet. But he's no turtle. He's no pair of turtles. no loving turtles. <laughs> so um, our kind of a side quest is we're going to try to uh, track him down. Yeah, see what happened to him. See if we can uh, discover where they went. Are they hiding? Did they run away? Did they elope? Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's a love story. Yeah. It's, okay. We could be on something here. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, yes. we are going to show you what happens to the carvings once the competition's done. Yeah, yeah, you've seen where uh, where they're made, and we're going to show you uh, where they end up. All right, we'll be back right after this B-roll. So, what happens to the carvings after the competition's all done? They end up on Carver's Row, where we are right now. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to give you a little walking tour of how this looks and uh, how everything's lined up at the end of the competition. Sounds good. Let's yeah. take a walk. Okay. So, yeah, they bring them down here after they're all done and treated. and. Yeah, they do treat them as well. It's not just the, the raw wood, yeah. as they say in the business. It's shop talk. You understand. What that what that business isn't, I'm not sure. But here we go. We got. I don't even know how you describe this. Like a polygonal. Uh, yeah, I call it like a polygonal bird. bird. Yeah. Its official title is. Hold on. Tangle of angle. There you go. Yeah, it's a tangle of angles. And then actually, I'm just gonna get a shot behind us to show what's coming up. So that this is a. How big Carver's Row is. Yeah. Pretty impressive. I mean, all the carvings are impressive, really. And... Got a dragon coming up. Lots of dragons this year. Yeah. Quite a few. Quite a few. Not sure why. But, I mean, they're all awesome. They Oops. are. Look at this thing. Look at this. There you go. I mean, it's details right down to the scales. With a chainsaw. With a chainsaw. So... I'm sure there's some sort of a encouraging message in there, like don't let life get you down or something like that. It's called the boy and the dragon. Uh, we're coming up at the one that won the competition. Yes, first place. Yeah, uh, elk. Right there. Pretty good. I think it's uh, it's an elk. Uh, but what's the scale? I think 1.5. 1. 1. I think 5, someone said. Like that. Yeah. Very dynamic. Yeah, pretty damn. Cool. Elk in motion. But yeah, that's the one that uh, took it all home. Yeah. And we're here with our first place winner for this year's current uh, championship. Yeah, my name's Abby Peterson. Abby, Abby yeah. Peterson, yeah. What did you do for us this year? I, car I carved a larger than life elk. It yeah. was the goal, yeah. Yeah, uh, what was your inspiration for that? Um, I wanted to do something that fit Chetwin. Yeah. And I've always wanted to carve a big elk, you know? Yeah. And you did an impressive job. That's thank you, for sure. thank you. That's for sure. Did you come into the competition knowing what you were going to yeah, do? Yeah, I would practiced it twice. Okay. Practiced, practiced it twice. Tried to keep it on the down low, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it under wraps. I'm glad I did because I made some mistakes on the first two, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it was good yeah, stuff. That smoothed out. Really yeah. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Did you, did, like, did you think you were going to take away the first place? Or? 
Uh, everybody's so phenomenal here. Yeah. You know, I think you could have picked any any one of them, and nobody could argue with it. Yeah. You know, it's a fantastic it's it's, sure. it's it's really truly an honor. Yeah. You know, it's always been my dream to just come to Chatwin. So to to come to Chatwin and get first place. Yeah. Where did you come from? Kentucky. 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 Okay. Yeah. And uh, are you a professional? Is this? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right I'm, I'm a professional. Oh, okay. Do it every day. Yeah. Every day. Is there uh, any uh, social media links or anything that you? Want uh, to they can look up Woodlife Sculpture on Facebook. Okay. Okay, Wood Life Sculpture on Facebook. Yeah. Well, uh, congratulations. Sir. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much for doing an interview. You bet. You yeah. bet. We're moving on. Yeah, because there's more than just first place. Now, I know this is officially the title, but I like to tell this: <laughs> yeah. Macho Man Randy Savage kills a dragon. Yeah, like you're gonna see, like in a. You'll see why. There we go. Let's get some. I mean, it's an eye patch, so, yeah, but I'm new at the selfie stick, so just bear yeah. with me here. There we go. Yeah, Judge that, for yourself. Yeah, if that's not some man, that's, if that's not Randy the Macho Man if, Savage. Yeah, if that's not the cream of the crop rising to the top, I don't know what <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, nor do I. <laughs> but moving on. Yeah. One of my favorites from uh, this year. Yeah, I like this one as well. A couple beetles fighting. Beetles. Yeah. We don't have a lot of, we don't have a lot of bug uh, sculptures in town. Nope. So it's nice for a change. It's even got a couple larvae. Yeah, oh, yeah see if I can get that. Yeah, there they are. Get down there. All right, cool. Oh, bad voice crack right there. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to edit that one. Uh, we interviewed the uh, fellow who did this one. He's from Ireland. Yep. And uh, he carved it in recognition of uh, Waterford's uh, Viking past. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have an interview with him. Yeah. Maybe I'll cut to that. Right now. Well, we're here with one of the participants of this year's uh, competition. What's your name? So I'm John Hayes and I'm from Ireland in a place called Waterford. Nice. And it's the oldest city in Ireland. So Perfect. We were founded by the Vikings. Probably. And you did a Viking. An I had awesome to. job, I, I do have to say. Thank you. Well, what was, uh, was Waterford the inspiration for Yeah, it? well, yeah. Waterford is the oldest city and it was founded by the kind of Vikings in uh, 610. Okay. Um, and they built uh, all these big forts and then they became strong bone ifa then so it's a huge part of our culture and who we are and that old fighting spirit you nice. know yeah. so a combination of vikings and irish make a, a good old thing you know <laughs> i think so i think so so did you come into the competition planning to carve this um not necessarily it, it was a change because when you get the log draw it changes and and the log that i needed would needed to be a big one for what i originally started but we still try to dissect the log and put it back together and try and make a big carving so we went with the viking i was going to do one uh, on a horse yeah. but i just didn't get enough wood to do that so we had to make a, a change yeah you got the uh, long ship going we out. got the long ship going on stage yeah, yeah. it's uh, spectacular uh is it your first time in chetland no it is my second time i was here four years ago okay um and uh, I, I was really looking forward to coming back this year. I've been in Canada for the last three months, so nice. it's had to have been a nice experience. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, the, it was shut down for a couple of years, so it's, that was I it. think everybody's glad that it's yeah, Absolutely, it's yeah. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for talking Hey, a pleasure, us. and thanks for having me in Chetwin. Yeah, it's one of sure. the greatest competitions in the world. All right. And I'm not just saying that we do competitions all over the world, and yeah. Chetwin is up there at the very top. Do you have a website or anything you yeah, want to Yeah, you'll find me on Special Branch Carvings. I won't arrest you, okay. but a Special Branch Carvings. So thanks very much, and my love to everyone. Slow on. Can we go back? Yep. I'm going to switch hands. Wait, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay, I'm not switching hands. All right. Keep going. And coming up on another dragon here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find stuff to talk about. From there. Here's a chainsaw carbon, and uh, it looks yeah. pretty awesome. And, and there we go. Dragon. Oh boy, I think it's starting to rain again. All right. Rain's been kind of the bane of our existence lately. It's been on and off. Yeah. So we got a couple. I don't of... think I'll have to blur this out. I don't think it's only wood. Yeah, it's just wood. Yeah. Couple dancers. Yeah, having a good time. Yeah, there's a belly button. Look at that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And that's all I got. I'm kind of running out of stuff to say. Oh wait, yeah, hold finally. Up. Hold up, yeah. Finally. Last but certainly not least. What? Yeah, one of our fan favorites for sure. We're kind of biased for yeah. this one. You got your man Takeo Hayashi. Yeah. Peace, Peace. love. 
monkeys. monkeys. Yeah. Takeo didn't win it this year, but he usually he placed third, I think. Yeah, I think he got third. Yeah. We'll have to uh, check the footage to be sure. Yeah. So yeah, if we get a let's turn around here. There yeah. you go. That's where the carvings end up. Um, and then next year these will be distributed around town. Yeah, yeah. Every year a on. truck drives by. Yeah. Okay, we'll just wait this out. There we go. Yeah, but uh, yeah, every year after the carvings are done, they take the previous year's winners. Well, yep. not winners, just the whole, the whole thing, all the previous year's carvings, and disperse them around town, and then the winners end up on Carver's Row. Yeah. yeah. So here we are at the end of the 2020 Chelton Chainsaw International Carving Championship. Yeah, I think I got all that, but uh, yeah, uh, some impressive carvings as you'll no doubt see. Yeah, uh, we got lots of B-roll for you. Yeah, we got lots of uh, different stages of the carvings. Uh, some quick carved stuff, I think. Yep. Yep. So uh, yeah, hopefully folks enjoyed that, and uh, we do plan on taking a walk around the town as well and showing some of you some of the pre-existing things that we have yes. here because they do post the uh the carvings around town at the end of everything yeah yeah we got a spot called uh, carver's row where oh, you can't see them behind us but uh 12 brand new carvings are going to be shipped uh i guess you could call it downtown yeah and all fantastic like uh you know the i think any of them could have took first place this year yeah this year was crazy yeah and we're happy to be able to show it to you yeah this is a bit of an experimental episode, a little run and gun yeah. type of deal. So hopefully so, we can... Uh, like, subscribe, tell your friend. Yeah. Make, make a friend, friend, tell them. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have one. Oh man, I'm going to be smelling and tasting sawdust for the next like four days. And donuts. And donuts. <laughs> There's many donuts. You can't see it? Yeah. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you can. There you go. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Turn. Bear, bear with me, people. I'm just yeah. trying to show you some donuts. Can you see past the truck? Oh, the truck's in the way. <laughs> Believe us, there's a mini donut place. Where we center this. And they were very busy today. There we go, and we're back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 floating oh. on me. Yeah, we don't edit these a lot. No. This is, it's mostly a spare time thing. Yeah, so like all that uselessness is probably going to stay in there. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Um, for Media Minute, I'm Chris Vasquezki. I'm Michael Ford. And uh, we'll see you peace, next time. Peace, love, monkeys. Yeah, peace, love, and monkeys. Yep. That's all you need. Hopefully that'll make sense by the time <laughs> you get to this part of the show. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah. All right. Bye.
Chief from Soto First Nations, and uh, we're here at Pemmican Days. And uh, tell us, what is Pemmican Days? Yeah, hey, welcome. Uh, glad you guys are here. It's just our annual um, Aboriginal Days. We just gather and be festive and, and practice our culture. Try to try to bring it back. Put all of our traditional games up for uh, for everybody to come watch and have fun. Well, what kind of games can people play? Uh, well, we got all kinds. We got Pagisi, just hand games, horseshoes. Those are the two big ones. Um, bow and arrow, axe throwing, TP making, uh, tea boiling. Well, there's quite a bit. Um, moose call, elk call, horse call. Um, and there's a whole bunch of activities for the kids like slingshot and endurance race. We do a, a, an endurance race for adults and kids. Yep. Adults one has uh, running, biking, horseback, bareback, horseback riding, um, and canoeing. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. The third, this is the 33rd annual 33rd, meeting. yeah. We started at 36 years ago, okay. but it, uh, with COVID we missed a couple and just historically there was one other one missed. So, yeah. so which was your favorite event? Uh, to watch, I like the hand the PEC hand games are my favorite to watch. Uh, to be part of, probably horseshoes. Yeah. So why is, the, is it your favorite to watch on the PEC? It's just the, the energy. Everybody's into it. They're dancing, they're moving. You got the drums going. It's just a good time. You know, makes you, wakes up your spirit. And I know I, you said you guys had a meat rack there. Can you tell us a little bit about that? There's some moose there? Yeah, so we have um, our, our local um, native hunters go out uh, the week prior to Pemmican Day to uh, try to find um, bull moose to provide meat and food for the uh, the weekend. The, they also su supply the meat for um, our dry meat cutting competition, which people go in and the people who have the nicest stretch of uh, dry meat win. So yeah, oh, it's really nice. fun. Yeah. And the one, the person who got it was uh, Tom Aaron, I believe, was our, our first Big place Tom? winner. Yeah, Big Tom. Yeah. <laughs> so no, good on him. That uh, contributes lots. It's a super important part to the weekend. And so okay. and it's nice. People can go over there and cut off a chunk of meat and cook it right there on the fire and eat it. And you get oh, you can actually meat. cook it yourself? Oh, yeah, you can go in there and cut off a chunk of meat and fry it up and, you know, all different cuts of meat in there. So cool. you know, there's always stuff cooking on the rack, so you can go in there and, yeah, it's nice to get some. Well, thank you for talking to us. Game. Appreciate it. You know, yeah, you guys definitely. Have fun. Yeah. Thank, thanks thank for coming. You. Enjoy it. Thanks.